Hey everyone, welcome back to the Easy Maths channel. Let's see here how we can solve these subtraction equations with the help of a Vedic maths method. The following given are the examples we will solve. With these examples, we will also learn how to use Vedic maths. Vedic math is easily used to get answers in just a few seconds. Here, we don't need to use the traditional subtraction method. So let's see how we can solve it in a very easy manner. Let's take the first example, 54 minus 12. We will work from left to right rather than the traditional right to left. 5 minus 1 is 4, 4 minus 2 is 2. Our answer will be 42. Easy. Again another example, 86 minus 24, left to right. 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 minus 4 is 2. 62 is our answer. Easy. Now let's go into more complicated subtractions. 822 minus 371. First of all, we will solve from left to right. Start solving from left. So 8 minus 3 is 5. Now subtract 1 from 5, which will be 4. Now we will see the complements of the various numbers from 1 to 10 in base of 10. For example, the complement of 1 is 9, complement of 2 is 8, complement of 3 is 7, and similarly, all the numbers' complements are given below. Now because you can't do 2 minus 7, we will use a complementary technique. You want to take a value from your previous answer 5, reducing it by 1, which will be 4. We know that the complement of 7 is 3. So we will add 3 with 2, giving us 5. Now that that's done, we can proceed with 2 minus 1, giving us 1. So the final answer will be 451. Now this example is 9421 minus 7909. Starting from left, 9 minus 7 is 2. We can't do 4 minus 9, so we will subtract 1 from 2, giving us 1. Here the complement of 9 is 1, so adding 1 to 4 gives us 5. Now 2 minus 0 is 2. We can't do 1 minus 9, so we have to subtract 1 from 2, giving us 1. At last, the complement of 9 is 1, so 1 plus 1 equals to 2. So the final answer will be 1512. 5,489 minus 795. Again, start from the left-hand side. So 5 minus 0 is 5. We can't do 4 minus 7, so we subtract 1 from 5, giving us 4. Then, taking the complement of 7, that is 3, adding 3 to 4 gives us 7. We can't do 8 minus 9, so we again subtract 1 from 7, giving us 6. Complement of 9 is 1, adding 1 to 8 equals to 9, and at last 9 minus 5 is 4. That gives us a final answer of 4,694. 44,564 minus 12,679. First of all, take the subtraction of 4 and 1, that is 3. Then, Subtract 4 minus 2, that is 2. Then again, subtract 1 from 2, giving us 1. Then taking the complement of 6, that is 4. Adding 4 to 5 gives 9. Subtracting 1 from 9 again gives us 8. Then taking the complement of 7, which is 3. Adding 3 to 6 gives us 9. Subtracting 1 from 9, and it becomes 8. Finally, complement of 9 is 1. Adding 1 to 4 gives us 5. That gives us a final answer of 31,885. Now let's move on to even bigger numbers. 7,612,045 minus 1,204,567. Subtract 7 minus 1, giving us 6. Then subtract 6 
minus 2, giving us 4. Subtracting 1 minus 0, giving us 1. Then subtracting 1 from 1, giving us 0. Then, take the complement of 4, which is 6. Adding 2 to 6, gives us 8. Now again, subtract 1 from 8, and it becomes 7. Then, take the complement of 5, which is 5 itself, and add 5 to 0, giving us 5 again. Subtracting 1 from 5 gives us 4. Taking the complement of 6 here, we get 4, adding 4 to 4 equals 8. Then again, subtract 1 from 8 and write 7 in the answer. At last, take the complement of 7, that is 3, and add 3 to 5, which is equal to 8. This is our final answer. 6,407,478. Easy, right? That's how you can use Vedic math in your subtractions. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more.